So guys, this is my birthday makeup and if anything has to be right today, it's this makeup because y'all, it's for my birthday photo shoot so it has to be the best. This is my birthday makeup and it has to be giving so I am really trying just to make sure everything is perfect in this though I have very few minutes to get, uh, to get this done. But I got this so I start with the eyebrows, just line them fill in the eyebrows then i go ahead and clean them using a concealer which is one shade lighter than my skin tone and of course i am using a flat brush for this after cleaning the eyebrows remember to blend in the concealer because you don't want that concealer to dry there and give you difficulty later so i blend it then i go to my eyeshadow so before applying any eyeshadow i always prepare my eyelids using a concealer so i take the lightest concealer blend it using a damp beauty blender just to make sure i get that flawless blend And one thing I just loved about this makeup, it was like, it's your birthday, we got you. Because everything was just turning out perfect. I mean, I did struggle with anything. So I started with my first brown color because today I just want to give this day, you know, all nude. Because nude always turn out nice for me, especially eyeshadow. So I started with earth tone colors, that's brown color. And as you can see, I'm trying to blend it out just to make sure no harsh line, no harsh colors, you know, everything is well blend. So I blend that using a fluffy brush. Then I go ahead to the cut crease area whereby I am using a concealer and a flat brush to create the cut crease. And when creating the cut crease, use a very little amount of concealer and make sure you blend it just to make sure the colors that you will apply on that concealer will be flawless. So as you can see, I'm just trying to blend everything together to make sure I get that flawless and smooth blend. So from the outer corner, I started by applying a very um, deep brown color. On the cut crease as you can see this is so cute then at the inner corner of the cut crease i decided to go with a lighter brown color i know from the camera it might seem to be white but this is not white this is a very light brown color because today i'm just doing nude so i just apply it there and make sure the two brown colors blend well so what do i do i just take my finger and blend in between the two colors because when I go with a brush it will just mess everything up so I try to blend in together to make sure no harsh lines between my shades so far I love this I love the way my eyeshadow turned out so for now we are going to do the liner and I am starting by doing the black liner because today we are going to do white liner and black liner so I start with the black liner first which I do just on my lash line I make sure I get that perfect wing eye one thing about wing eyeliner it will always not be the easiest but it needs consistency whenever you are trying to do this because the more you do it the more your hand will get used to it and the more perfect you'll get so let's go to the white eyeliner I am using karite white eyeliner this eyeliner dries up very fast if you have to be slow let me tell you if you're using karita white eyeliner it will mess you up so i just uh color is it color or covering the white liner i just draw another line above the black liner it's like i'm just putting it above the black liner that i do so this is the white eyeliner and as you can see i'm very careful with it as i said it's a very it dries very fast if you have to be slow with this let me tell you you'll just get messy things will get messy and it will be so crazy so what i do is that i cover that black liner then i go ahead on my cut crease i try to bring that wing line and this is how it turned out i love 
how this is so i moved to the face after the eyes and the eyes are so cute so i start by moisturizing my face then i apply primer then we go to the foundation and when it comes to foundation i always start by applying it all around my face using a little brush then i go ahead to blend so i am using a flat brush for this just to spread the foundation all around my face then i use a damp beauty blender to blend it all around my face whenever you are using foundation make sure it matches your skin tone and now it's highlighting time so i am going to use concealer to highlight my under eye the bridge of my nose my forehead so i always start with the under eye so i highlight the under eye first and as you can see i'm just drawing a line with the concealer on the side of my eye because i want my face to look uh, lifted a little bit lifted so i blend that and as you can see i'm trying to look up is because i don't want creases below my eyes that's what i am avoiding so make sure you blend it well and you blend your concealer immediately do not leave it there to dry some people prefer leaving it there to dry for a little bit but for beginners i highly recommend blending your concealer fast as fast as you apply it you know so i go ahead now to apply it on the forehead and the bridge of my nose and i still blend it using a damp beauty blender And now it's time to set that concealer so i am using this shade this is a very uh kind of light shade from this zikel cosmetics contour palette i don't remember the name but i'll definitely put it on the screen so i just apply it using a brush and as you can see i am very using a very little effort do not use a lot of effort just to avoid leaving the bristles of the brush on your face remember right now you just applied cream on your face and if you use a lot of force a that brush will create bristles on your face so just use a very little force and as you can see i'm using a very little amount of powder as well do not use a lot of powder right now if you are using a setting powder use a very little amount of it so let's move to contour and to contour i just mix these two colors which are darker than my skin tone and i go ahead and contour my cheekbones as you can see it's bringing that nice shape to my face i don't know if you can see it right now on my cheekbone so i contour my cheekbones my forehead and of course the sides of my nose those are the only areas which i always contour and make sure your contour is well blend i really like being precise whenever i am contouring my nose because i like that you know thin nose I love that and this is the time to change the shape of your nose so if you want your nose to be thin make sure you leave a very thin bright line at the bridge of your nose like me as you can see I'm just applying those dark shades on the sides of my nose and I'm leaving a very thin bright line at the middle make sure you blend those two contour uh, lines just make sure they are not too harsh on your face and this is it so we move to the blush and i am using nyx powder blush and i apply it just above where i contoured just to make sure it brings some color on my face and now let's finish the eye look and to finish the eye look i just take this uh, liner so this is a pencil liner and i am using it to line the waterline because i love the way that black liner on the waterlines makes my eyes pop and look bigger so i do so on both my eyes so this step makes your uh makes my eyes watery but anyway i did it so let's do the mascara just to eliminate any powdery eyeshadow product that laid on my natural lashes and if at all you don't do falses just to make sure you know your lashes look longer and more visible remember to apply some mascara on the tiny lashes on the lower lid 
so let's spray the face and guys i'm really sorry i lost the clip that i recorded doing my lashes so if you want to watch that kindly scroll my videos you'll get a very detailed video on how to do the lashes so i spread my face and now i moved on to the lips i really don't like highlighting whenever i am going for photo shoot because it appears to be so harsh uh when you have a uh, you know picture shot with a camera so i don't know how it works for you but for me i really don't like applying highlighter for photo shoots so this is the lips i applied the first brown color then the second peach color and i am blending these two colors together to make sure i get that ombre lip look and this is the look we are done i love the way it turned out so guys i just put some pictures of my photo shoot so that you can check them out if you need a photo shoot dm mark photography on instagram if you need makeup dm me at phil muticia on instagram so thank you so much for watching the best present you can gift me for my birthday is for you to subscribe to my channel so kindly subscribe bye